A U.S. nuclear expert says it's impossible to predict how long it might take to decommission the reactors. Charles Castro represents a team from the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission sent to Japan at the start of the crisis. He told NHK that he and others still don't fully understand what's going on inside the reactors. Can you believe that? You can't make a solid estimate until you know what the level of damage is inside the reactor. That's how absurd it is. Castro said his team advised the Japanese government to continue injecting seawater into the reactors along with fresh water to cool down spent nuclear fuel. He said they were upset with their Japanese counterparts for providing only limited information from a small number of engineers soon after the accident. The Japanese government declared last Friday that the reactors had reached a state of cold shutdown, the second phase in the program to bring the facility under control. There, blah, blah, bleagy, blah, and, and they'll be perfectly normal. A Japanese government panel says a lapse in communications contributed to the explosion at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. Panel members are investigating the accident last March. They say operators halted reactor number three's emergency cooling system without informing the plant director. The suspension on March 13th allowed the reactor to heat up for nearly seven hours. It caused a hydrogen explosion the next day. Panel members say the operators stopped the cooling system in the early hours of the day. The operators tried to use fire pumps instead. They were afraid the system's batteries might lose power. The members say the operators could not pump water into the reactor because there was no power to open the reactor's valves. So they could not reduce the inside pressure and pump water in. The operators gave up on the pumps and tried to switch back to the cooling system, but it wouldn't restart. They finally managed to pump water into the reactor seven hours later using car batteries to open the valves. Panel members say the director was only informed about the suspension more than an hour after it occurred. The Japanese government and Tokyo Electric Power Company are considering now is using $13 billion in public money to secure uh, compensation funds for the nuclear accident at the Fukushima Daiichi plant. And this means that the utility could effectively come under state control. TEPCO is facing financial difficulties as it is uncertain whether operations of its nuclear reactors will resume. Thermal power plants are being used instead, and this is pushing up fuel costs. Under the proposed plan, TEPCO will apply to the state to raise its electricity charges next April. The government and utility are working to compile a new business plan by next spring. And uh, these are small, per uh, small particulates that you're talking about. I think you used the term, were they gnats, radioactive uh, gnats, I think you used once? Fuel fleas. Fuel fleas. So how, that's what people are taking a, um, a Geiger counter. They're putting on food and saying, okay, my food is safe, but they're not considering particulate matter. What is a particulate, nuclear particulate, and how devastating could a small particulate be to you? That's, that's the key to the, uh, the whole discussion. The Japanese right now are measuring airborne dose. And they're walking around with their decimeter and, and saying it reads whatever. But that's an airborne dose from what's on the soil, what's been previously deposited on the soil. And it doesn't take into account any of these internal exposures from hot particles that either get in your GI tract or in your lungs. We've got uh, pictures of kids' uh, sneakers loaded with cesium. And you know if it's on the sneakers, it's in their hands, and their hands are in their mouth. Um, it's, um, I'm certain that the body burden of cesium on, in kids in Fukushima Prefecture is quite high. The net effect of that, you can't measure that because your body self-shields. So if that's deep in your lung, there's, you know, there's mass between your lung and uh, where the detector is, and you won't find it. That doesn't mean it's not there. We, um, we also saw on the first week of the accident, there's a couple other nasty gases that disappear very quickly, xenon and krypton. And the concentration in air was astronomical, and, which means that the concentration in people's lungs were astronomical. Uh, the net effect of this is there's got to be you know, significant increases in cancer in, in the Japanese population. So you think a million people would be a reasonable estimate. So we have a 9-11, which is 3,000. We have uh, Bhopal, which is 3,800 or so. 
and 200,000 injured, and then we have Fukushima, which is a potential impact of, of a million people. 